Today I'm going to show you how I make pepperoni pizza that rivals any takeout joint. This is what you'll need for the crust. These are the ingredients you'll need for the sauce. And this is what you'll need for the actual pizza itself. So let's get started. In my stand mixer here, I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar and three quarters of a cup of warm water, about 100, 110 degrees or so. And I'm just going to stir that up to dissolve the sugar a little bit. And then I'm going to take one teaspoon of active dry yeast and I'm going to sprinkle that on the top. And I'm not going to bother to stir that in. I'm just going to let it bloom right on top of the water like that. And after about 10 minutes, it'll be nice and foamy. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And also two cups of all-purpose flour. I've attached the dough hook to my mixer and I'm just going to turn this on and mix it until it starts to pull away from the sides of the bowl and form a dough. Just like that. I'm going to let it go and I'm going to let the machine knead it for about a minute or so. You don't want to overwork the dough too much. And then I floured my hands and I'm just taking the dough out of the bowl and I'm going to shape this into a nice ball. I'm going to take some nonstick spray and I'm going to spray the bowl down. I'm going to put my dough back into the bowl. And I'm just going to toss this to make sure that the dough is completely covered with that nonstick spray. I'm going to spray a little bit more on top just to make sure it's covered. I'm going to cover it with a damp towel and put this into a warm spot to rise for about an hour. For my sauce, I've got six ounces of tomato paste. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of water to that. I'm going to add in one, te one teaspoon of basil, one teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of oregano, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And using a whisk, I'm just gonna whisk this together, and I'm heating this over medium heat, and you wanna to continue to stir this as you're heating it. And once it gets nice and bubbly, I'm gonna turn the heat off, and I'm gonna stir in one tablespoon of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And you just wanna mix that in until it's melted, and then you wanna set this off to the side and let it cool completely before you use it. I'm going to preheat my oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and I've got a 16 inch pizza pan here and I'm just going to dust the top of it lightly with some cornmeal, maybe a tablespoon or so. And I'm going to turn out my dough onto that. I did not bother to punch it down or anything. And using my fingers, I'm just going to pat this out starting in the center, working my way out and pressing the dough out to the edge of the pan. And you want to leave kind of a lip around the edge for the crust. And then I'm going to take half of my sauce mixture. I'm just going to spoon that out into the center and then using the back of a spoon I'm just going to spread this out in, to within about three quarters of an inch or so of the edge of the crust. And once you get your sauce spread out make sure that it's nice and even you don't have any bald spots on your crust. And then you want to take your mozzarella cheese and just sprinkle this onto the top and you want to make sure that you get this the cheese all the way to the edge of the sauce. You don't want to cover the crust, but you want to cover the sauce with your cheese. And then I'm going to take my pepperoni and starting on the outside, I'm going to place a row of pepperoni and I'm keeping the pepperoni relatively close to each other because they do shrink up when they bake. And I'm going to go around and continue filling in the center, kind of overlapping the slices so it looks like that. And I'm going to place that into the oven and bake it for seven minutes until it's nice and golden brown and looks like that. And then I'm just going to take my pizza cutter and slide it underneath and around the edge and make sure that the pizza is not stuck to the pan and it shouldn't be with the cornmeal. And I'm just going to cut this into eight slices and you can use this crust and this sauce for any toppings that you'd like on your pizza. If you want sausage, Canadian bacon, if you want a vegetarian, whatever you like and whatever is your preference. This is perfect for that. And then go ahead and serve yourself up a slice. And there you have it. Homemade pepperoni pizza from scratch that rivals any takeout joint. Hope you guys enjoy and thanks so much for watching.